Welcome and thanks to everybody. I am Camilo Sanchez and I am going to present the results of one of the chapters of my doctoral research in which I analyze the relationship between the acoustic complexity and the ecological integrity of the landscape in tropical Indian environments. Sounds emanating from environment has been recognized as a proxy of complexity at diverse ecological levels. At landscape level, acoustic signals from soundscape are related directly to the basic attributes of the landscape, and in turn, landscape elements are involved with the production and propagation of sounds. This casual connection has allowed the use of the acoustic complexity of the soundscape as an indicator of the condition or integrity of a given area and as a potential ecological monitoring tool. Previous studies have assessed the relationship between acoustic complexity and ecological integrity, and they have shown a consistent and positive connection of the integrity indicator based on components from site and landscape levels with acoustic metrics indicating some escape with high diversity and levels of biophonic activity. However, these studies also have documented that the magnitude of this relationship has a high variation. Acoustic metrics may be differentially connected to integrity indicators with patterns varying even between similar ecosystems. In addition, Factors associated with landscape and temporal variation also could influence the relationship. It's clear then that the use of the soundscape patterns as an integrity indicator required a full comprehension of the factors intervening in the relationship on diverse environments. In tropical and in ecosystem, containing a more complex acoustic diversity and where passive acoustic monitoring has shown a great potential for animal and habitat assessment, the use of the acoustic complexity as an integrity indicator could be a useful tool for landscape monitoring. However, and in some escape are widely unknown and the behavior of their relationship with the landscape elements needs careful examination. In this context, we decide to evaluate how soundscape complexity and ecological integrity of the landscape are related in Andean environments, how this relationship is affected by daily temporal patterns of the soundscape and the variation of the spatial scale, and whether soundscape patterns may reflect the ecological integrity in Andean environments. The study system was located on the northern Andes for Colombia. It corresponds to a protective area of mountain forest associated to Hawa's hydroelectric power plant. The area is composed by different covers, including mainly successional state of forest and croplands. This area is considered a paramount site for biodiversity conservation and regional level as it maintains highly diverse community of terrestrial vertebrates and plants. We randomly select 31 sampling sites within the protected area to study the soundscape complexity and ecological integrity. We carry out the acoustic monitoring of the sampling site between May and June 2018. We installed one autonomous recorder per site and collected one minute recording every 15 minutes during 5 to 10 continuous date. For the landscape, we adopted a framework based on the use of the forest fragmentation, connectivity, and habitat quality indicators to measure the ecological integrity. We generated this indicator using remote and sensitive data on a focal area of 250 square kilometers. 
Data collection scheme resulting in a little more than 20,000 one minute recordings. To describe the acoustic complexity of the sound scale in sampling site, we estimate our nine acoustic indices for each recording. We calculate the acoustic indices using an upper limit of 12 kHz to mainly analyze the biophonic component which is concentrated below this threshold in our study system. Recordings containing rainfall zone were not included for estimation of six acoustic indices as they affected their values. To quantify the forest fragmentation, we use the foreground area density metrics considering forest cover as foreground. Lower values of this metric indicated a lower presence of forest cover and higher fragmentation levels. We model habitat connectivity from a perspective of terrestrial fauna requirements and their resistance to its moving due to the human impacts. For this, we generated a resistant surface based on a map of human footprint index and apply a circuit theory approach to obtain an omnidirectional current model. To model habitat quality, we implemented an general approach in which a cumulative indicator was estimated from seven quality proxies associated with vegetation and terrain condition. Proxies were scored according to their suitability for terrestrial vertebrate species in forest areas. We estimated the ecological integrity index from Riscal raster of indicators following this function. Index values range between 0 and 1, with values close to one in the carrying a higher ecological integrity. From ecological integrity map, we calculated the mean value of index for each sampling site in four spatial scales, considering areas defined by radial buffers between 100 and 400 meters. To analyze the relationship, between the acoustic indices and the ecological integrity, we used generalized linear mixed effects models. First, we fitted models with the acoustic indices as the response variable, the ecological integrity and our update as fifth effect, and sampling sites are random effect. Independent models were estimated for each spatial scale in order to identify the scale in which the acoustic indices are closely related to the integrity. We carry out a second analysis for assessing whether the daily temporal variation of the acoustic indices affects their relationship with the integrity. For this, we use the integrity index and spatial scale selected in the previous step and fitted models to each hour of day. Five acoustic indices result in significant relationships with ecological integrity. Relationships were significant on all the spatial scale, but models at 100 meters had a better fit. Trends of indices suggest the presence of acoustically more diverse zone scale, containing a higher evenness in the zone distribution among frequency band, and high levels of the biophonic signal in sites with higher ecological integrity. Among indices, the evenness index and the number of peaks had the larger changes in their values with the variation of their integrity index, with changes about 12% relative to an increase of 0.1 in the integrity value. 
We found that all acoustic indices varied significantly along the day. Temporal patterns of the most of the indices indicator a more even soundscape with high acoustic activity in the journal time. In addition, pattern, patterns of the complexity index and the number of peaks suggested the occurrence of high levels of singing activity associated with down and dust chorus. This pattern agree with the overall biophonic activity in tropical environments, with bear and insect communities dominating diurnal activity and occupying a wider frequency range, and crickets and frog species concentrated in a more limited range at night. The daily temporal variation observed in the acoustic indices was also reflected on their relationship with the ecological integrity. We found that the magnitude and the significance of the relationship with the integrity index were not homogeneous along the day. The entropy index had significant association at all hours and the evenness index and the number of peaks in almost all ones. But in contrast, in the diversity and biophony indices, the significant relationship were only concentrated in a specific daily hours. We found that the relationship were stronger in two periods of the journal time, between 6 and 9 hours and between 10 and 12 hours. In this period, steamer values of the evenness index and the number of peaks had the higher changes relative to an increase in the ecological integrity. Relationships in this time could be pointing to species of bird and insect as the most sensitive taxa to, to the modification of the landscape. This combination between awards and acoustic indices could be used as indicator reflecting the main changes in the ecological integrity. The analytical approach used in this research allowed to model the spatial distribution of the acoustic indices as a function of the ecological integrity. This kind of models could become a useful tool for landscape management and conservation planning and help to identify potential hotspots of functional biodiversity. Likewise, it may also be used as a complement to the taxonomic diversity to identification and prioritization for protected areas. We can conclude from our study that first, acoustic complexity of the sunscape is positively connected to the landscape ecology integrity in an Andean environment. Second, the evenness of the acoustic activity and the number of frequency peaks are identified as the most important acoustic metrics for the ecological monitoring of the landscape. Third, relationship between acoustic complexity and integrity is homogeneous in a small spatial scale and responds to the daily variation of the sound scale. And finally, we can conclude that soundscape analysis is a feasible approach for the monitoring and conservation planning of Andean landscape. The detailed information about the research that I just presented can be obtained from this recently published scientific article. We thank to this institution for academic and financial support for this research. Thank you very much to everybody for your attention.